Well-adjusted normal person, unwanted election outcomes are part of life. Voters don't always do what you want them to do. It is frustrating, but that's how it works. In fact, when voters reject you, you get a chance to assess your own behavior. Chances are there is a reason that people didn't want you in power, and you now have time to think about what that reason might be. That's a healthy process. So when you lose, it is hardly proof that the system is broken. In fact, it's usually evidence that things are working exactly as intended. But people like Max Boot and Liz Cheney do not see it that way. They are too fragile to face their own unpopularity. To people like that, the prospect of rejection by voters, of losing control of the country, means literally, literally, literally the end of democracy itself. Okay, so Jordan, he grounded his commentary as being about Max Boot and Liz Cheney. Every single word he just said makes way more sense applied to either Donald Trump or his supporters. Is he, does he not get that or is he secretly critiquing his own side? What do you think? I, I mean, it sounds like a monologue they had written for like December 2020 and just had to put it in the can for a little bit later. Because it doesn't <laughs> like what's what's the concern here? Like, you know, Liz Cheney and Max Boot like to act like, um, you know, Republicans winning would be disastrous for the country in like seismic systemic ways. And you know, you could make the argument that would be, but that's like not the situation we're in right now at this moment. Like the threat we're facing is people who took the violence because they didn't like the election outcome.